very good morning to all the children only uh, seven students have joined today via online mode and not a single student in the offline class so you might be preparing well for your exams all the best to all the children those who are attending or not attending even uh, i'll be just you know uh, discussing the whole syllabus once again as many topics as we can cover when it comes to writing skills fine so uh, first of all in reading section beta uh, is my voice audible kindly send your feedback fine so uh, in the beta reading part firstly uh, letter to editor uh, sorry discursive passage case based factual passage in discursive passage uh, which can be up to 450 words it can be anything related to uh, you can say any case related case studies about a particular person about a famous personality about any anyone you can get or it's not about always about a person it can be about a place it can be about a concept about any values in our lives on a scientific phenomena so n number of topics can be there in discursive passage right and then uh, in uh, as no child is sitting that's why i'm removing the mask okay so uh, in letter of complaint then beta after the passages writing skills are there and yes uh, second passage can be based on uh bit of factual passage this is mentioned in your term one only that factual passage with visual input statistical data chart etc i'm reading the syllabus of term one which i already shared with you all okay uh, we have discussed this though but let us discuss because this is the last day of revision so i'm going to the all topics then after this case based means you can get a pie chart you can get a bar graph or any data written in between the lines fine or any visual picture is given on the based of that picture a uh, passage is written fine so two passages will be there two reading comprehensions will be there then it comes to writing skill in writing skills we have letter to the editor letter of complaint to uh, official complaints then letter of complaint that is business complaints fine so now almost 10 students have joined okay uh i'll be discussing the format of letter once again because in both the letters whether it is letter to editor or official or business letter the format is almost same first of all yes beta suppose this is the margin line clear sender's address you should remember where do we write firstly you send the letter then it is received fine sender's address then skip one line then date then again skip line then receiver's address find sender's address date receiver's address subject then salutation this is called salutation where do you write uh, dear sir or ma'am then body of the letter or you call it content also fine at last on extreme left side subscription your truly your name and then if designation is mentioned beta
if your post is given then that designation comes at the last if it is mentioned in the statement otherwise no clear now the thing is in the case of letter to editor receiver's address who's the receiver the editor fine your address is given suppose 163 model town jalandhar two to three line address is given then you skip one line then you write the date don't write date like this the way i have written here so the correct format will be like this because this is language so you will be writing like this this is the correct version fine 11 september 2021 or if you are writing september 11 comma 2021 that is also correct but otherwise no uh, commas and no full stops are required clear then yours truly name and designation when you are writing the letter this is called beta salutation and this is called subscription where you write yours truly you are just winding up your letter this is called subscription clear sender address date receiver's address subject salutation body of the letter subscription and then your name and designation or signatures also if it is required fine now the thing is when you write a letter to the editor receiver is the editor then the name of the newspaper and name of the city like this here i am writing like this e should be capital the editor no commas and no full stop the tribune chandigarh so suppose this is the letter clear so three line address your receiver is the editor only in case of business letters beta address if it is given uh, to the manager to the director the honor any designation can be given to you you should know the proper format based questions can be there that where do we write the date date comes after the sender's address or after the receiver's address four options are given to you you should know then you can get question uh, content based the complete letter is given blanks are given in between the letter and on the basis of that you are attempting the mcqs clear it can be anything content based questions as well as format based questions both can be there so you prepare yourself accordingly ye nahi sochna ki humne kaun sa likhna hai wahan pe ja ke you should know what should be the content how to start a letter what to write in the letter to editor what do we write in the letter to editor firstly we introduce ourselves clear let me discuss the now what should be the content okay in the letter to editor beta first of all you introduce yourself okay and after introducing yourself uh, you tell the purpose of uh, writing that why you are writing this letter maybe you are facing some problem it can be a local issue related to uh, you can say sanitation related to mosquito breeding cleanliness facilities or park nearby your area it can be a global problem like uh people are not following covid norms and uh, uh, you can say uh, obesity is increasing ailments are increasing a general uh, concerned based fine so in letter to editor it's not always about your local or personal problem letter to editor is not written for that fine so it can be a local issue it can be some global issue or universal phenomena you can say uh and you should mention firstly you introduce yourself that i am so and so person i'm writing this letter to discuss about this thing then you discuss the problem and then you give suggestions also to how to overcome that problem that is your main purpose in letter to editor fine and after suggestions you just do sub subscription is there yours truly name and designation and signature that's it clear yes 11 students are there now yes hardik is saying yes what about others send me your feedback beta i'm just asking you is it clear to you 
Yes, Hasita Divyansh, Mehak. If you have uh, attended the period for the sake of attending, then do give response also, okay? Not for the sake of attendance only. Then we have letter of complaint. Now, what is the difference between letter of complaint to uh, a business letter of complaint or official letter of complaint? I have told you a number of times that business, you know that business related complaints can be anything uh, related to you have purchased something that did not turn out to be good. You purchased a machine, you purchased a, a fan, a refrigerator or any services you attempted, you attended, you can say you purchased uh, books, they turn out to be torn out. That comes under business letter. And if you uh, went to a hotel, they did not attend you well, services were not good at a particular place, you spent a lot of money, fine. And when it comes to letter of complaint, official letters of complaint, then they will be based on when you write to higher authority like official public servants or government officials. Fine, those are the letter of complaints like, again, uh, if sanitation problem is there, you will be writing to the municipal corporation of your city, fine. If any facility related to your city is not good, you will be writing to that concerned authority. Those public servants who are for us to serve, but they're not serving properly or you're facing a problem, right? So official complaints to those higher authorities. It can be any higher authority. Clear? So business related is something else and official complaints are something else. Or do not rigid to one segment only that I have purchased something and it was not, that is a business that is not fixed. It's a wider concept. Okay, is it clear difference between official and business letters? Everyone keep on responding so that I can move forward. Yes, Mahak is saying clear, Ahadik is clear, Prabhjot is saying yes. Yes, Hasita Divyansh. What about Jia? Both the Jias are not responding. Jia the one and Jia number 19, Jasleen 18, Parikshit, Kartike Verma also. Bita, do respond, okay? So then uh, after Bita writing skills, we have grammar. Fine. In grammar, you have tenses, models, subject verb agreement, determiners, reported speech based on commands, requests, statements, and questions. Now, what sort of questions you can get? You can get one statement is written of reported speech and four answers are written. Fine, if you are able to convert the direct into indirect speech, only then you will be able to find the correct answer. Don't depend upon others. You should know. If you have gone through all the rules, you have converted it properly. Those the correct answer concert equal. Right? I'm sorry. And uh, tenses and models, beta, you can get gaps, gap filling based. Uh, you can get uh, editing based also, matching based also, true, false based, assertions based. So uh, in detail, we have discussed in the class that if uh, they have given you questions like this in which they have mentioned, given two statements and then options are given to you, that option one is correct, option one and two are correct in that way also, assertion reasoning, then analytical reasoning is applied. But in grammar, that is uh, not possible. But in literature, definitely. Fine. So in grammar, correct answers you are supposed to tick or blanks are given. Fine. On determiner, suppose you have, they have written these, those, that. This is very easy and saying. Clear? And uh, multiple options are given. Then we have in literature, I'm going to name the chapters first. You will be telling me, is it clear or any problem is there? You can raise your hand and I'll discuss with you. A letter to God, keep on sending me thumbs up, fine, so that I know that you are clear. Sare chapters and in detail, my summary bhi padi hui hai, everything, questions and main points also we have written and question answers also we discussed. Fine, then after that Nelson Mandela is there based on a lot of facts and data. 
then you need to cram only in Nelson Mandela because there are many years, many names of places. Fine. So read, read, read with understanding. But ye ki bas fact hi aane. Fact bhi hoenge exam mein, but your brain will be evoked to give responses in analytical way. Then Nelson Mandela, two stories about flying. Me two stories are there. One about that bird. Another about uh, that uh, aeroplane, fine, or that plane. And then we have from the diary of Anne Frank, that is autobiographical account, her personal account of diary. There again, it's maybe Bossara data hai, diary of Anne Frank, the dates are there and names of many things and places and people and facts. Then 100 dresses part one, 100 dresses part two. Then we have poetry, beta. In poetry, dust of snow, fire and ice. Both are written by Robert Frost. Then we have a tiger in the zoo and the ball poem. Fine, you should know all the names of the poems, the poets, their concept, themes, messages, poetic devices, everything you must know about the poems also. Then another book is their footprints without feet. In this, we have done three chapters. Yes, a triumph of surgery. Fine, clear to all of you. Uh, Mrs. Pumphrey Wala chapter. Then the thieves story. Fine, Hari and uh, Anil. Then footprints without feet. Fine, that intelligent scientist, but lawless person, that chapter. So any doubt in any chapter, beta, you can ask me, I'm asking you today. No doubts. The whole syllabus we have completed and revised. I guess by chapter to do do bar we revise ho in detail. Mein. We have time. Still we have time. If you do not have any uh, beta doubt, then I'll discuss. Literary devices, fine. Yes, but a dust of snow poem is there in which I'm going to discuss the literary devices. Okay, are you there? Keep on responding. Only then I will continue. Only less number of students are there if they do not guess. First, Bitter uh, Likti Jana Satsat, alliteration. Alliteration is when repetition of consonant sound is there. Fine. Consonant sounds, consie. There are 26 letters in English A, E, I, O, U. These five walls are there. If you have 21 letters, they all are called consonants. Fine. B, D, K, L, all are consonants. So whenever a consonant sound is repeated again and again, that is called the device of alliteration. In this poem, beta, alliteration pe use hua hai, has given my heart. H sound is repeated. So this is the example of alliteration. Then and saved some part, saved some. S sound is repeated. Underline SS, book saamne rakke betho. Clear? So this is the example of alliteration. Then, beta, uh, assonance. Jaise alliteration hota hai for consonant sounds, waise hi assonance hota hai. A S S O N A N C E. Assonance is for when wall sound is repeated. A E I O U. Five walls hain. Agar wall sound bar bar repeat ho rahi hai, that is called assonance. Clear? Uh, like in this, shook down on me. Shook down. Shook word maybe twice O use hua, down O use hua, on O use hua. Clear? So prominence kis ki hogi? O sound ki. So then it becomes assonance. Is it clear? Tell me. When wall sound is prominent, chai koi bhi wall ho, A, E, I, O, U me se, 
then it is called a sonin. So in this O is prominent, so this is called a sonin. Clear? Then beta next is is poem me. Enjambment. Enjambment when the same sentence continues to the next line without the use of any punctuation marks, it is called enjambment. Okay, enjambment. E N J A M B M E N T. So enjambment puri poem me throughout use hue. Clear? So you can see many examples. When same sentence, I repeat, when same sentence continues to the next line without the use of any punctuation marks. Clear, beta? Yes. So I discussed with you literary devices used in dustoffs. No. Now I am going to discuss literary devices used in fire and ice. Clear? Jitni ho jayengi, we will try level best. Yes, beta. First of all, isme beta assonance mene discuss kiya bhi aapke saath. Okay. Uh, jaldi se kartike, unmute yourself and tell me what is assonance? Anyone can raise hand. I don't want to waste time. Jisko nahi aata hai, wo rehne do. Jisko aata hai, can raise hand. Jaldi se assonance abhi bataya mene. Jaldi se I'm going to give example from this next point. Assonance is repetition of cons consonants or repetition of walls. Jaldi se nahi bata do chalo. Raise your hand, come on. जब कोई क्वेश्चन पूछता है तब आपका जवाब ही नहीं आता है दिस इज द वे यू आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिस हसीता व्हाट इज द सोनेंस रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड और कोई जवाब नहीं है सी तभी तो कोई पढ़ाटेशन ऑफ वॉवल्स Yes. Fine. So this is the yes, Mehak right. She has written in the chat box. Okay. So a sonance example in the fire and ice is I hold with those who favor fire. Is line me hui hai. I hold with those who favor fire. O sound is repeated. Hold those who favor in each and every word in this line. O sound is repeated. So this is called a sonance. Alliteration. Who favor fire? In this line, me, beta, alliteration be used. Hua. I hold with those who favor fire. But the words where alliteration is used is favor fire. F F sound is repeated. Clear? Then imagery is used. A lot of imagery is used in fire and ice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say it will uh, destroy, destroy. It will get destroyed in ice. Or destruction of ice is also great. So imagery is. Uh, those words which create images in our mind, like ice is representing uh, insensitive people and fire is representing overpassionate people. So one kind of imagery is converted, fine, created in our mind. So this imagery ka hi example. Then better symbolism. Symbolism is used of symbols to signify some other idea. Of ice or fire, they both are used as symbols in this poem. This is the device of symbolism. Clear? Ice is representing cold people, insensitive people, those who do not bother about others, fine. Fire is representing over ambitious people, passionate people. They can do anything for the sake of achievement of the goals. Fine. So they are symbols. Then beta, uh, anaphora. Next, poetic devices, anaphora. A-N-A-P-H-O-R-A. -A -A. Anaphora. Anaphora is that device. Uh, it, rapid, it refers to the repetition of a word or expression in the first part of some verses. Clear? In the beginning of the poem, ye repeat hote hai kuch words. Like some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. Ab some say pali line may be used, hua, some say second line may be used. Hua. Clear? So this is the example of anaphora. Then beta next is personification. When? Human qualities are given to objects, things, and ideas. Clear? Then this is called personification. Clear? In this poem, fire and ice are capable of destruction. So therefore, the poet has personified the fire 
as well as he has personified the eyes by giving them human qualities otherwise aisa nahi hai clear yeah? so eyes and fire they are held responsible for destroying anything so human qualities are given to them fine so this is called example of personification also then beta enjambment what is enjambment it is defined as a thought or a clause that does not come to an end at a line it moves over to the next line when one idea or one meaning is continued to the next line also ek line se leke dusri line mein bhi ja raha idea then this is called enjambment from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire so these two lines are interconnected poet is saying that with my experience i can tell that i hold with those who favor fire clear rhyme schemes you know that how to find out stanzas dekh ke last letter hum dekhte hote hain agar first line ka last letter sorry last word or second line ka last word same hai then a a hota hai that you have done in class 5th also fine right? so that is rhyme scheme is different rhyming words are different okay that's it then we have another poem literary device used in ball poem clear yeah, ball poem is there in your syllabus and uh, let's discuss some of them the bell hone wali hai i guess fourth poem nahi ho payegi hamari personification is used fine because ab i maine sab discuss kar liye what is personification ball merrily bouncing down the street you means happily ball ja rahi this is not a quality of a ball poet has personified this quality okay the ball merrily bouncing down the street merry means happy it is a human characteristic to become happy okay so in that way personification is used in this then beta metaphor metaphor maine discuss nahi ki or simile let me discuss that simile is when comparison is made by using as or like metaphor is when direct comparison is made uh, in this balls will be lost always ball here is a you can say representing childhood ball is a symbol of lost childhood so it is a metaphor clear repetition jab koi word bar bar repeat ho raha what what he is to do now what in two lines it is repeated it means this is repetition alliteration be used hua hai isme who has lost his ba- ball what what he is to do buy is a ball back b sound is repeated deep and dark floor of harbor move my mind my heart move so whenever a consonant sound is repeated that is alliteration and symbolism be used hua hai fine in the poem balls are symbolic of childhood find and positions so that's it we have discussed format of writing skills the whole pattern and uh, three poems literary devices okay all the best for all the exams read well apply your senses be in senses and properly mark the answer on the omr sheet in correct order all the best beta have a nice day